Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Al and today I am showing you guys a high school build that I have completed and it was a bit of a challenge. I don't usually build things like this or this large so it definitely was a challenge but it was really fun and I am happy with the way it came out and I got to use the rounded walls as you can see there for the first time and yeah they are definitely glitchy as others have said but i mean we made them work so it was okay in the end um and this school is based on an actual real life school it doesn't really look like it in the end but some features i used just to kind of get like a basic look a basic plan down and so i think that really helped me you know with what I was building so I usually do that I usually use real life references and that helps me a lot and just kind of find things in the game that look similar to it or work for the style I'm going for so this is definitely like an American based high school for sure um, so if you live in America or went to school in America this probably <laughs> represents maybe one of the schools that you went to in your life it's it's a kind of like a, a common looking kind of school um, but I wanted the school's colors to be like this dark blue color um, so that's kind of the accent that we use all over the school and thankfully in the game there's the mascot which is Frank the Womp Womp I think and they have like a dark blue version of him so that's kind of what I used as my inspiration so here you can see I'm building the shell and now I'm trying to figure out the wallpaper first I went with this yellow color and I kind of hated it and I finally found some nice darker brick which is this brick that I liked a lot better and so we go with this one and this is kind of the final color scheme of the building and I'm adding kind of white trim accents around the entire thing and I just put down like concrete for the flooring and some like pebbles for the roof kind of a texture and you saw me put like the, the windows on the curved walls and that's kind of a feature in the actual school and I thought it was really cool and on the top of the roof where the curved wall is there is like a gap there's a little glitch in the ceiling and I can't fix that so that's just part of the glitch that comes with the walls unfortunately but it's not a super big deal it doesn't bother me a ton so I just left it I thought about covering it up with plants but yeah I just left it it's fine <laughs> um, so now I'm doing some landscaping around the front garden and I do put bushes like all the way around the school and you'll see that in a second. A lot of the difficult issues I had with the roofing and the curved walls, like sometimes when you draw a room, the curved walls would just delete. Sometimes when you try to draw the ceiling back on, they would just delete. Um, sometimes when you drew a room with the curved walls or just a regular room, the ceiling would delete. It's like kind of a hot mess. But I cut most of that out, so okay in the end we got there and we made it work so yeah just like a warning if you're trying to build with the curved the new curved walls is to just be patient because it is difficult and not even difficult more annoying because you try to add something and this part deletes and then you try to add this and this part goes away and you try to add back on and it doesn't add on it's just a lot so anyway just a warning so now i'm gonna pause and show you guys what i did with the inside floor plan because i didn't film this just because it it took a while and it was kind of tedious but anyway so the idea is we have two entrances here and then there's a front office and like the principal's office and a storage room in the middle of those doors and then there is the auditorium and the auditorium lobby on the right hand side so the lobby is like a really big open two-story room with lots of windows natural lighting and then the auditorium auditorium is behind that or the theater then next to that we have the library and the computer lab and the chess room in the middle of the school there there is the bathroom and the teachers lounge then we have the cafeteria on the left hand side the gym behind that and then two classrooms and that is basically the plan so the first thing I started with is the auditorium and I didn't show building like the construction of it you can see right there that the ceiling deleted itself of course so 
when I was fooling around with platforms, which are also glitchy, the ceiling kept disappearing. So anyway, um, so it, again, it was kind of tedious to build, so I didn't film that part. I just wanted to film more of the decoration and stuff. So we made a stage with the platforms and then a bunch of platforms going up. So it looks like the seating's like on a ramp going down like a real theater. We're adding some lights in and to stick with the blue theme of the school i had blue like auditorium looking chairs and blue carpeting some lights on the walls and stairs going up to the stage and then i add some curtains so there's like a couple rows of curtains and they come in this nice blue color and then i add a debate stand and then i think i add some microphones at the end too that you'll see in the screenshots but now i'm working on the lobby part and this space is like really big and open so it was a little tricky to decide like how to arrange it but I did take inspiration from the actual real school so this is kind of like a community space and it's also a space that students can use just during the day like there's seating in here and everything and the lobby's like for after concerts or after plays like the families gather here you know and meet their students and take pictures and whatnot so in the real school there's like seating and then there's some artwork on this um curved wall here so what i did was put up like pictures that i really liked artwork and maybe some of it's like historical about the school or the town and some of it's done by like actual students or like community members that's kind of what it's like in the real school and then i put like little plaques underneath the artwork which you'll see in a second that kind of like say who made the artwork and like a description of it and stuff like that so i put some little club banners up here too to represent acting and music and what the theater is like used for debate sign and then here's the little plaques that i was replacing <laughs> with uh, like little information about the artwork so that's basically this room it was also kind of hard to light but I'm gonna rely mostly on like the windows and stuff. So now I'm picking the wallpaper for the majority of the school, which is gonna be this like white brick, and now I'm trying to figure out the flooring. So the flooring was kind of hard. Uh, in the end, I went with just like a white tile, and then I wanted to put some like blue accents in there though, so I cut most of it out, but you can see here, I'm trying to figure out like a pattern that's not too overwhelming but is like more interesting than just plain white so first i tried just putting these blue squares down i didn't really care for it and eventually after an hour <laughs> we land on this which is just like squares and then diamonds on the side and i think it does look good like in screenshots and stuff it's not like too much but there's enough variety that you know it breaks up all the white so I kind of carry that down the hallway and kind of throughout most of the school um, and then I change it up in the classrooms and the bathroom and stuff like that. So now I am just kind of putting the floor down and I'm working on the main office. So the main office has carpeting again um, and then there's like these two secretary desks when you come in through the door and they actually like wrap around that curved window in real life but it wasn't looking great so i just decided to do the counters and i do put computers down um but you they're not usable because i've heard that if you put computers with desks um that the principal will get confused so i i didn't snap these chairs to the counter i just kind of you know used moved objects on and just put them there so it's just for looks mostly and I know we don't actually have secretaries in this pack but again it's just like decoration so I am decorating the desks like someone actually sits here and works here and there's like two secretaries uh, maybe one's for like attendance and main stuff and maybe the other one's like for athletics or like if you get sick or so I don't know um, so yeah lots of decor there's Frank the womp womp he's so cute and then after that I kind of work on like the waiting room area so I'm just putting up some school decor and maybe like if the parents come in or students are waiting to see the principal they can like sit here and wait for her 
and so I just put some sports stuff up and some decor. It was a little bit hard to like find things that match the colors that I wanted to because a lot of the colors in this pack is like teal. Um, so I kind of went with teal and dark blue and white, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm figuring out what chairs are going to go there and like the color scheme and everything. And then I think I work on the principal's office after that and putting a few plants down because I forgot about plants. <laughs> and yeah, now we're working on the principal's office. And the principal of my school is still gonna be Mae Prescott. And I was trying to think about her personality and like how she would decorate her office, like how she's kind of like a proper sim who isn't afraid to be a disciplinarian and all that kind of stuff. So I still kind of stuck with like the school colors, but also made like most of her furniture a little bit darker. And um, yeah, so I put bookshelves on this wall and some filing cabinets. And then I had like a little seating area there and by the door so if someone comes to meet with her she can um, use those chairs and then I was trying to figure out like if she should have like a bigger desk but in the end I just deleted it because it wasn't really working so this computer is functional for her and then she has like her diplomas maybe she got her masters and everything well I think you have to have your masters to be in administration <laughs> Uh, so yeah she has those degrees on her wall and then we gave her some decor and she's a little like less cluttered than maybe like the secretaries out there she's like proper and organized and all that kind of stuff um, I was thinking that that picture right there is CC but I was thinking maybe that's like her late husband or something she has him kind of tucked away in the corner <laughs> just to look at him and then she has this beautiful office with these beautiful windows with a great view um, so I put some plants so they can, you know, thrive in the natural sunshine and <laughs> that's pretty much it for her office. And then I work on a little like storage room. I didn't really know what to put in this room. I was thinking about maybe like another principal's office or something, but I just made it like kind of like a copy room for like teachers or maybe there's like extra supplies in the cabinets and stuff. So again, it's not functional, it's just decorative, but anyway. Um, then I'm moving on to kind of the front hallway where there's a bunch of display cases of trophies and awards and then we have like a little like student hangout area here maybe like before school starts or you know in between classes or after lunch they kind of come out here and like sit and wait and then I'm working on the cafeteria so I do have two cafeteria stations and there is a mod that you can get that allows you to have two cafeteria workers so I might do that I'm not quite sure yet but in this build I actually block off the second station so you can't actually use it but I will see how many students I want to have in my school and see if I need to have two or not so as you saw there, I'm just pulling out some decor that I wanted to use and then I was trying to figure out the seating uh, color scheme, which was hard. It took me a long time and I cut a lot of it out, <laughs> but I decided on this like wood color that's around the rest of the school and of course dark blue and I wanted to have like a variety of seating. So I have like the circle tables, the high tops and like another high top kind of bar seating against the window there. So there's like some variety and that's kind of what it's like in the real high school so you kind of go through this room you get your lunch and then you go through the archway into like the cafeteria where there's actual seats and this is where i'm blocking off like that extra food service station i put like my microwave back there and like some coolers fridges whatever so it's again that one's just decorative and then i add like a little station for the kids like they could use the microwave if they brought their lunch um, put their dirty dishes there and then use like the recycling uh, trash can <laughs> and trash can and then I'm popping in some vending machines around the school so I used all of them from the new pack and from snowy escape so there's like variety and stuff and then I found these plants I thought I'd spice up the lobby really quick before I finish the cafeteria so here I'm just uh, finishing the seating up and trying to make sure the sims can get to all those seating areas and yeah so now i'm working on like the main hallway that's gonna have most of the lockers for the students 
and I chose this like blue teal color again and yeah I'll just kind of lining the halls with those and then I decided to put some decor here between the classrooms and this is where I decided to use the club banners in front of or like hanging outside of every classroom so you know like what class that is so that was kind of fun and this classroom here is going to be the art room and this is actually based on my real classroom like I'm an art teacher so <laughs> I wanted to make my actual classroom in the sims and I do have that curved wall with windows as you just saw me make so I'll talk about that in a little bit later but now I am moving on to the bathroom and I think I yeah I made two bathrooms in this school so they are for both male and female anyone can use them and it's pretty simple it's just stalls the new sinks because I wanted to use the new sinks um, there's a couple mirrors the soap hand hand soap uh, dispensers some hand towel dispensers a trash can and I literally think that is it so again it's blue and white themed pretty simple and mostly just functional cuz eh, that's kind of how they are in school and then this is the teachers lounge so the teachers get some nice cabinets a sink a microwave a toaster oven a fridge coffee machine all the good stuff and in my school we have like these long dining tables that are pushed together and so we eat lunch like family style which is kind of nice and we're all kind of in one like big group so I was trying to find tables that work for that and put like four of them together and then a bunch of chairs and I know there's not gonna be that many teachers in the school but whatever and um, then in the teachers lunch we also have our mailboxes so I kind of made them with the new shelving units that we got and I stuck like a bunch of random male decor in them so it kind of emulates that you know that's where the teachers and staff get their mail and so I'm just throwing up some decor on this little counter and on the table and I put some seating in there and just some random stuff like there's always food and clutter and just dishes and random stuff in the teachers lounge so that's pretty much it for the teacher's lunch. I think I add s'mores from the little camper's kit, just like representing that we always have some sort of like cookies or something in there um, for snacks. So yeah, I wanted the teachers to be a little spoiled, you know, they deserve it, right? I think so. Um, speaking of that, we're going back to school very soon and I don't want to. <laughs> Uh, I always get anxious about new school year after a break, um, but anyway, now I'm working on the gym, so uh, I think that flooring's from Eco Lifestyle, it's like literally perfect for a gym floor, and I did create those bleachers off to the side there um, in advance, and again, I, it was just like kind of a tedious platform thing, so I didn't record it, so I'm sorry, but anyway, uh, behind the gym, oh, I forgot to say, there's a weight room back here, and also like a locker room bathroom as well, so... There's treadmills, weight machines, uh, kickboxing thingy, punching bag, a little cheerleading thing. And then I also put the big group cheerleading mat in the gym floor so that's functional as well to be used. And then I'm making the second bathroom here with the lockers. That's not functional, it's just decor, but you know. Um, some showers, so if the kids are working out before or after school, they can of course take showers if they get stinky. And then some sinks and that's about it for the locker room again really simple not much decor but again that's kind of how it is in the school <laughs> there's there's not a whole ton going on you know um, so I put some windows in both rooms and in the gym for some natural lighting as well and I also add some debug sports stuff later on but you'll see that in the screenshots so now we are working on the library and I again decided to put those windows high up just for some more lighting because there wasn't actually any windows that go to the outside so yeah and lots of bookcases and this is kind of like a small room but again I didn't want it to be huge because like sims won't really use this 
for a classroom, but I mean, they can go in here and get books if they want to, of course. So it was still like a cute, fun room to design. Um, we got like the librarian desk. Again, the, the chair doesn't snap to the desk, so the computer isn't functional and the principal hopefully won't get confused on where to go. And so we just have a lot of book clutter and um, fun things on the librarian's desk. And there is a couple pieces of CC in this build, I might as well say, um, but I definitely didn't want it to be CC heavy for sure. So I will go in and delete those pieces um, before I upload this to the gallery and it should be up by now. So if you want to download this, um, you can. It will look pretty much the same except for maybe a couple decorations will be gone, but I did want those decorations like for my own let's play like series that I'm going to use this school in. So anyway, and then we're just adding some decor posters for reading <laughs> and now I'm working on the computer lab. So I used counters and I did snap the chairs to these computers but I'm hoping that's okay. I'm, I mean, I guess we'll find out if the principal gets confused with that. And I added some research stations and then the chess stuff goes in here. So like if your Sims are in chess club, they can practice here. Or if they're in the computer club, they can practice in here as well. So hopefully just like students and staff will use this and the principal won't come in here and think this is her office. I'm not sure. I think it's, I thought it was just for the desk that they get confused, but whatever we'll see um so again there's just like decor in here techie decor and i put like a big like server thing in the corner um and some seating and that's pretty much it for that room now we're working on my classroom this is the art room and again it didn't it's it's not really actually what it looks like in real life there's some aspects of it that are similar like i do have that curved wall with the windows and um, I do have these like almost exact blue cabinets actually in the corner here and this is like where all my supplies goes and then I do have a couple sinks and I don't have a whiteboard but I that's like where the projection screen goes and I do have some computers back in that little curved nook there so though that's kind of where all the similarities are um but besides that uh, after that it's kind of different so since we have to have desks in the in the classrooms, um, I put desks in, and then um, this is kind of where the teacher desk is. Again, I don't snap the chair to the desk, and so it's more decorative, but that's okay. So I added a little like cubby station where I put decor and everything, and pretend this is where the teacher goes. <laughs> and then on this side is like the painting area, so I put a bunch of easels. I love those different swatches, like mismatched kind of. I thought that was cute. And then putting some like random decor. I have like the most random like statues and things that students have given me up on my desk. So I was trying to kind of emulate that, and then I put some art decorations on the counter that stuff is cc so i'll have to delete that out but anyway um we have some cool like window hangings i just tried to make it colorful and creative and like the kids art was up on the wall and everything like that and i think this room turned out pretty fun so i'm gonna set this to classroom one i think and even though of course they won't take just art in this room <laughs> that's fine i just i wanted to make my classroom to be honest so i put some paintings up on the top of the cabinets there we have some nifty knitting stuff which i thought fit in really well with like the pegboards um i put a mural station out on the wall so the kids can do that during their free time i think that'll be fun to get up their art skills and some canvases and all that unlockable stuff um, those canvases are from Eco Lifestyle, I think. And then I put some floor stains on the floor, like paint spills happened or whatever, because my art room's messy. And then I put a, a womp womp thing at the front there. Um, some more nifty knitting stuff, like a painting canvas sheet on the floor to protect the floor. Just some other art stuff I found. The knitting stuff. The woodworking table, because that can be kind of an artsy thing. Um, and in the 
back here I do have like a back room in this area um, so I put some Christmas lights up on that and then a little bit more desk decor but through that door there it's gonna be a photo studio so that's kind of actually where in real life where I keep all my um, cameras and other supplies and stuff but I thought it would be kind of fun to make it a functional room for students so I add some Moschino stuff back here so I do like a backdrop tripod lights and then some like camera storage looking things back here um, so although that closet is in is there in real life um, I wanted to make it like I said functional for this school build for the sims and stuff so they can actually use it hopefully if they can get in there I guess we'll find out <laughs> um, and that is about it for that classroom so this second classroom here um, also does exist in real life but it does again look quite a bit different um, but this is gonna be classroom two and this one is gonna function as just like everything else so it'll be like science history language arts all that kind of stuff so all that kind of decor is like in here so it's kind of like a I don't know collect all classroom because again we can only have two classes in the sims which is kind of a bummer I wish you could assign specific subjects to specific rooms but whatever so we have again the desks in here the whiteboard of course and we have like a little reading area and then back in the corner there is the teacher desk area so again this computer back here is not functional and it's just for for looks and for loveliness <laughs> and for realism I guess and um, yeah so I did the teachers area and then um, what else do I put in here oh they have all their diplomas back there on the wall they're a very smart teacher put some aquariums back here so there's like a class pet <laughs> And it's like the science room, so like maybe they could study the fish. I don't know. I don't teach science. <laughs> um, so here's like the little reading seating area. And I found the fish poster, so I was like, ooh, an aquarium. Aquariums would be cool. So we'll have to stock those as well. And just adding some trash cans in that I forgot. And then the other thing is I wanted to add some flags in here, like to pretend that those were like flags from different countries, like lining the wall. So that's kind of what those are for or what they're supposed to be. And I had some blinds here in a second to the windows, make it look a little more homey, a little more full. And um, oh, yes, I also put a pride flag in my classroom. <laughs> and then this is like, I don't know the chemistry set so it's like you can do labs in this room i don't know and then a telescope so i don't actually know if you can use that inside i'm not sure but it let me place it so i don't know whatever um so yeah just some more decor on the walls i deleted the cc i used in my room and put that little decor thing that actually came again from i think university so i thought that it has like the color wheel on it and stuff and I put some safety hazard stuff up <laughs> and that's about it. So here's the screenshots. Again, they go by kind of fast because I have a ton of screenshots. So if you need to pause to look at any of them longer, you can of course do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the builds. Um, you will see me playing with this high school eventually. I think I might use it in my Crybaby Whims series. So hopefully when our kids age up into teens then they can come to this high school and it'll be really cool um and then we'll see all the townies and everyone hanging out so if you enjoyed this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye